Welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video, guys. My name is Patrick, aka Chief Pat, and today we're going to be hopping on Chief Pat 2 for the next episode of our Let's Play Clash Royale series and the very first video after the new update's gone live in Clash Royale. Now, this is one of my favorite days of the year. Every time a new update comes out, the hype is crazy. The comments, the tweets I'm getting are ridiculous. And one of the coolest things about this update that I didn't even mention inside of the sneak peeks is that you actually are getting a free magical chest in honor of Clash Royale's birthday. So Clash Royale's birthday was earlier this month and they didn't have the update ready, so they couldn't do it then. But check this out. If you go to the shop on the left-hand side, there's gonna be a free magical chest. I think they had some issues getting it to everyone. So if you don't see it yet, you'll see it uh, within like the next day or so. But let's go ahead and open up our free magical chest right now and see what we get inside of it someone just tweeted me that they got an expo a royal giant and a furnace out of their magical chest i'm hoping that isn't the case for us let's go ahead and do this right now we're gonna need some gold not really too much a couple of royal giants that's not the start i wanted goblin gang battle ram minions we're not gonna get a legendary because we don't have any epics yet. That would have been so nice. I know some people have been getting like Electro Wizards they've been tweeting at me. Elixir Collector, and finally for our epics, we're gonna get the Dark Prince. Now, Dark Prince hasn't been great, but Nick and Knight did beat me in that challenge with it. That's not the prettiest chest I've ever seen, but again, it is free. Make sure you guys collect it if you guys haven't already. And now that when you get the uh, special anniversary offers, they flip over the cards to make this little photo. I've already done it on my first account, of course, as the Dirty Gemmer I am. But let's go ahead and go to our deck and upgrade our Skeleton Army up to level 4. I've got that from all of the uh, all of the requests I've been doing on Epic Sunday, so let's go ahead and get that done. Skeleton Army is going to be level 4. That's going to be even better for dealing with graveyards, dealing with opponent Skeleton Armies. And uh, let's go ahead and hop into a couple of battles very first battle since the new update has come out so our first battle just started up and we're going to be matching up with the level 10. now keep in mind they did change the arenas to now arena 10 is hog mountain from 3000 to 3800 trophies and then also the legendary arena is going to be arena 11 from from 3800 plus i'm at like 3200 trophies right now so i'm not too close to getting into legendary it's pretty annoying to keep climbing especially only at level 8 but i'm pretty close to going to level 9 soon so i'm hoping to do that in just a moment but let's go ahead and lightning down this witch make sure we take care of her and with the golem on golem action, eventually I'm going to swap my minions onto his skeleton army. But that golem's going to go ahead and reach my tower. Okay, we're going to start taking some golem damage. It isn't the end of the world. I'll play some skeletons. And meanwhile, my golemites plus minions are going to do the best job that they can. And they're going to keep shooting down that tower while the electro wizard's a little bit distracted right there. And uh, now I can play my mega minion here. Hopefully my mega minion will clean up that electro wizard. I'm not too confident in it though, because this electro wizard's going to get pretty close to me. But the electro wizard did get in, in uh, tower range, which is really all that we needed. So we can go ahead and continue on with this battle, and it's not going to be the end of the world. Now, how are we going to pull this one off? Um, I feel like a really valuable lightning could be the one that determines this factor. Now, he played another golem, and rather than play a golem into his golem, I'm just going to set up defensively, and hopefully I'll be able to hold off his defensive push. Let's get ready. I've got... Okay, he's got his princess down. Maybe we can use our archers to shoot down his princess. That's going to be a nice job done right there. One archer is going to help out the golem. That log is going to be a little bit early, so it's not going to take out everything that he wanted it to. And meanwhile, his electro wizard's going to go down. Let's use our skeleton army. That's going to be able to do work right here. We're going to be able to hold off this push fairly well. His wizard is still distracted. And uh, now we just need to drop a mega minion, and that should be the end of his push yet again. Okay, now we need to get ready to drop our golem. I think we have an elixir lead right now. Why does this dude have five people watching him? I'm not exactly sure right now. Okay, he must be some, I don't know why he's famous for being a level 10, he's facing me right here, having five people watching him, but that's A-OK. -okay. Let's just keep our cool and keep going onwards. I've got my tombstone in a moment. We've got golem versus golem. Princess is going to go down here. I feel like he might drop like a witch or something, and we can get a nice lightning spell onto him. There goes his log. That's going to clean up a lot of our stuff. I'm still waiting. Okay, now we can get the princess plus the witch. And now we need to get going with our push. So Mega Minion's going down right now. In a moment, I can play my Zap spell to Zap this Electro for this uh, Inferno Drake. And now that that Inferno Dragon's going down, the Golem's going to explode. We only have a couple of seconds to make this work 23 left on the clock he's gonna play a log but honestly we don't have a lot of logable stuff look at all the damage we're doing to that tower that's gonna be tower number one for this game guys that's gonna be so good in fact i can just drop my lightning spell and that's gonna clean up both of those electro wizards we're gonna go into overtime right now and things are looking pretty great let's calm down right here and play our mega minion to kill this princess he's gonna play a golem i'm gonna drag that towards my king tower which is gonna work really well for us and that golem's gonna be pretty unprotected right now uh, an Inferno Dragon's gonna do the best that it can, but I'm not worried about this Golem. Let's set up a big push, guys. This could be how we win this game. Okay, Inferno Dragon is still distracted. 
It's still distracted right now. I'll play my skeleton army. I need to make sure that I'm protecting um, or protecting myself from having this Inferno uh, Dragon attack my tower. This is looking so good. He's getting so aggressive right now. We have a full HP golem down this left-hand side. This is where we need to win this game. We have no other choice. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Lightning spell is going down right now. That's going to hit the Inferno Dragon. Oh, it's going to hit absolutely everything. Let's give him a little bit of a thumbs up right there. Zap spell is going down on all of those skeletons. This is looking so good. The golem, the minions, the archers, everything's locking onto the tower. He's going to play his log, but he has so many units on his tower. GG, well played. That's going to be win number one for the new update. Good game, well played. Woo! Not sure where we had five people watching. 29 trophies for that win. Very nicely done. So the next battle just started up against Frankie, and something that I realized is you can actually spectate your clanmates now. I was wondering where those spectators were coming from from the last battle, and I went to my clan, and they were all talking about how they were spectating my battles, which is pretty interesting. I never knew that Supercell would actually uh, do that, but now that we have spectators inside of the clan, don't be surprised to be able to see a couple more people watching your battles. And uh, let's go ahead and start this next one here against Frankie right now. Now, I don't have a great play to make, so I'm just going to lightning this bowler right here. Hopefully getting a little bit of return on investment, but seeing as I don't have my tombstone, I don't have anything really building up as far as the push goes. I'll just let my archers do a little bit of damage against this bowler, and let's see what he's going to do. He's going to drop his elite barbarians. I have to drag those somewhat close to uh, what I've got going on over here. My minions are going to go down. Meanwhile, his princess did so much work against my skeleton army plus the bowler that uh, we're just going to have to sit back for a second, let my stuff do its thing. One mega minion hit on the tower, and uh, he's going to zap my minions right here. Okay, so we should have an elixir lead right now, which feels really good. I can get my golem going down in a second. This is still going to be a tough one to deal with. Uh, my counters to the elite barbarians are the tombstone and the, uh, the skeleton army, so keep that in mind. He's going to zap one of those. So I need to make sure that I always have two of them available. And now that the bowler's going down, you know what? I'm just going to let this miner damage my tower because I really need to start making some positive trades. I'll play my archers as soon as this bowler locks on. Okay, so now that the bowler's locked on, I'll play my archers. They're going to go ahead and start shooting this bowler. And now we can really start making our push in a moment. And with that princess going down, who knows how we want to do this. Okay, log's going down. He's got an interesting play right there. I'm going to play my skeleton army. You know, this is going to be a little bit interesting right here. Skeleton army is going to get run so close to the princess. Actually, two of the skeletons are going to make it. And when the golem pops, princess is going to go ahead and change direction. Mega minion is going to lock on. I'm going to lightning down the princess as well as my mega minion is going to clean up his minions right here. Check this out. Almost one more hit onto the tower. 410 HP left. That was such a good push for us. But wait, the elite barbarians. You have to know the elite barbarians are coming out. I'm not going to worry about those goblins, to be honest. I'm going to play my golem right here. And I'm expecting some elite barbarians in my face. Oh, wait. No, they're level 9 goblins. I thought they were... I forgot I'm only level 8, so we actually took way more damage than we wanted to. Uh, let's surround this bowler with the skeleton army. We have to see how we can defend right here, but honestly, this tower looks like it's going to die, so I'm just going to go ahead and let it die. I've got my minions that are going to help clean everything up in a second, and let's get ready to defend right here. And we can use our lightning against that tower. That's going to give us some decent value right there. Mega Minion's doing the best job it can. And when this golem pops in a moment, check out the explosion. Boom, it's going to kill two minions. I've got my minions on the right-hand side. He's got his elite barbarians taking so much damage from my Mega Minion as well as my archers. This is looking okay. I do have to get my lightning spell ready in a moment, though. Um, so let's keep that in mind. I guess I have to cycle to it, which is a little bit disappointing. Let's cycle as fast as we can. Lightning spell is going down right now. That's going to take the first tower of the game for us. We've got our mega minion. We've got everything we've got trying to defend against this princess right here. And uh, with his bowler dropping, okay, mega minion's going to clean up that bowler fairly well. We've got our archers in a moment. So hopefully they don't die straight up. Okay, they're going to go ahead and do the best job they can. Mega Minion's going to reach the Princess before eventually dying. And uh, now we're going to have to play our Tombstone. And he's got double Princesses. Okay, double Princesses should get rocked by my Mega Minion. That's going to work out well for us. And let's start one more massive push with our Golem. And hopefully this is going to be what we need to end this game. Hopefully it's what we need. I'm not confident at all. But hopefully it's what we need. I'm sure he has his Elite Barbarians ready. There goes his Bowler. And let's see if we can do it. All right, Minion's going down here. We've got our archers going down here. We've got our lightning spell going down here. He has everything, everything so tanky on defense. We're doing the best job. The golem is the little golem that could, trying to reach the tower. I'm going to zap down to reset the tower's aggro. We've got minions. We've got the mega minion. We've got everything onto the tower. That's going to be G. G. Well played with four seconds left in OT. That battle was a doozy. 29 trophies for it, but they were definitely hard Fox. Okay, let's get into one more battle. One more battle at 3,157 against Gian Luca. And let's see how we're going to be able to get this one done. Okay, I'll play my archers 
first. Again, three spectators. You guys know how it goes. Tombstone's gonna go down here. I'll play my Mega Minion too. I guess I just have to play a pretty heavy amount of Elixir to counter these Fire Spirits, because the Fire Spirits were just gonna be so dangerous against me. And you know what? I'll play my Skeleton Army. I have nothing else I can play. It's just sort of what I gotta do. And with his archers, he did... Oh, he played archers and zap. Okay, so we made a positive elixir trade with the skeleton army. Plus my archers, still gonna get two hits, maybe three hits onto the tower. And let's reset for the next part. I think we have an elixir lead right now, even with all that we just played. So let's get ready with our golem. He's gonna play his fire spirits again. I'm gonna go ahead and try to... Oh no, I was trying to cycle to my zap because now we're just going to take so much damage from these fire spirits. Oh man, this is probably going to be the end of our first tower. Princess is going to lock on. Not the best way to start the game. And because of that, the princess is even going to target my archers at first, I think. So now we've got a naked golem besides two archers. Okay, we got to drop the mega minion too. There goes his minions. Those minions will die when the golem explodes. I'm not sure he knows that. Barbarians are going to go down. And uh, okay, this is going to be okay because right when the golem pops, check this out. Golem's going to do so much for us. I'm going to actually zap everything, give my mega minion an opportunity to reset. And with that barbarian dying, he has to play his fire spirits. But that tower's still going to be down to below. Uh, it looks like it's going to be, okay, 800 on the dot. So we still have a chance. We have a chance. We obviously want to defend against his hog rider a little bit better. So I'm going to play our tombstone to start instead of having another hog rider run down the lane and just murder me. So tombstone is down. He'll play a princess to counter that, and let's get ready with another golem. Okay, so his hog rider, he's got his barbarians to deal with our golem. Doing the calculations in my head, how do we want to deal with this? We have to deal with the barbarians, because those have been the biggest problem for us. He's going to go ahead and play his hog rider to try to hop everything we've got. I'll play my mega minion here, so the mega minion's going to do a good job killing these minions and hopefully swinging around to the princess. Okay, it looks like he's going to die to the princess, actually. That stinks. Um, let's zap everything. Trying to keep everything down, but he still has so much right here. I'm going to have to lighten down his tower to try to keep things away from it. My minion's going to do the best job that it can, but with the tower down to 220, we need a lightning spell. We need a lightning spell to be able to hold on to this game. Let's go ahead and try it. I've got my minions. They're going to take damage from this princess, though. I have to zap this princess plus those goblins. So only 30 seconds left on the clock, but we're still in it, guys. That's all we can ask for is still being in it. I'll play my archers. Oh, actually, that's not going to work. I tried to play my archers. His hog rider's still going to do so much damage against my tower, though, and I have to take it. I just have to take the damage right there. Princess is going down. Everything is going down. That princess is brutal right now. 400, 385 HP left. How are we going to do this? Lightning spell is going down now, but with the hog rider and cycle. That's going to be GG well played. You can't win them all. And uh, unfortunately, my clanmates had to witness the downfall of that battle. His hog cycle was good. He cycled us down right there. Good game, well played against Gianluca. That's going to be two crowns to one. At least it's a crown towards our crown chest. And guys, that is going to do it for this video. We're only one away from our crown chest and our first crown chest since the update has come out. Make sure you guys pick up your free magical chest on the left-hand side. You don't want to miss it. It's so good. I'm going to miss this epic chest, but pick up the free magical chest on the left. And if you're a dirty gemmer like I am on my main account, there's two other offers you guys can pick up. That is going to do it for this episode. Let me know what you guys think. Should I go to level 9? Because I have the gold to get it done. I just have to do, let's see, I'm 1,000 HP. I need to do, uh, I guess I need to do 20 upgrades. I have just enough gold, I think, to go up to level 9. Or maybe I'm like 300 gold away. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. Should I go up? Should I stay? I'd love to hear what you guys say. And that is going to wrap it up for this vid. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.